Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph the equation. And this is basically in standard form. It's not going to be in our slope intercept form. So when graphing an equation, um, something like this, we've got to make sure that um, I think the easiest way to graph this is by using a table of values. So when identifying a table of values, um, you know, we have an x and a y axis, right? And remember, for every coordinate point, we have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So What's important about x equals 3 is what that tells us is no matter what my coordinate is, the value for x is always going to be 3. The value of x is never going to change from being 3. Now I go ahead and look at the, the coordinates for y. Well, if x is always equal to 3, what is y equal? And that really turns into y can be any number we really want it to be. It could be negative 2, negative 3. It could be 0. It could be 5. It could be 2. You can pick arbitrary values for y. x is always going to equal 3. So if I plot, well, here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis. So if I plot x equals 3, 1, 2, 3, right? And now I just plot, well, there's 3, 0. Where's 3, 5? Right? 3, 2. It's up here. All these points are always going to be on what we call this vertical line. So whenever x is equal to a value, you're going to have a vertical line where the x value will always remain the same. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a... Uh, uh, an equation or a vertical line. Thanks.